All right, it's Tuesday, so that means we are going to Goodwill. We're gonna spend the next hour or so looking for stuff that we can resell online, and everything I find today, we're gonna put up at Whatnot for one dollar tonight, 7:30 p.m. Eastern time. It is a double feature tonight, so I'll be on at 7:30 p.m. Eastern time. Then at 8:30, we're gonna raid the Sensei Jason Hayes' first Whatnot show. It's gonna be crazy. So two full hours of action. Thanks everyone for joining, whether you're joining the live on TikTok or whether you're watching this recording on YouTube. It's awesome, I appreciate you. We do this every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. I do this full time, this is what I do for a living. I've been reselling online for five years now and I've been full time for two and a half. We're gonna grab this. It'll be easier if I take my sunglasses off. I was pouting outside. Uh, let's see. It's about 2% dog hair. It's kind of pilly though. I'm gonna throw it in the cart. I'll look at it a little bit closer later when I got two hands. I don't like, uh, it's a, yeah, I'm gonna put it back. They're probably gonna yell at me for looking at stuff on this fresh rack. Look at that Ralph Warren. It's like a sleepwear. Usually they yell at me for, or yell at people for checking out the fresh racks there. Yosemite. So we're here at a Goodwill. It's kind of slow in here today. And I'm gonna show you everything I pick up. We'll talk through what I pass. You never know what I'm gonna find. That's pretty. What's up, Brianne? Hope you're well. Kelly, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. We got a fresh rack coming out. We'll hit that in a second. We'll probably sneak in there, try to get on that when they're not looking. We like to follow the rules, but when the rules don't make sense, we bend them. Oh, we're hauling. Nice. Look at that. That's awesome. It's on a champion tag. Champion large. I'm having a, a sick day. I hope you're feeling better. On the upswing, I hope, Brianne. That's just fuzz. So it's definitely got some wear to it, but that is that is just lovely. That's going up on Whatnot tonight for a buck. Men's large, champion hoodie. It's got the champion hit somewhere. There it is, champion. Quits. <laughs> Insane, considering this morning's talk. Ironic considering this morning's talk. Oh yeah, with boats. Yeah, yeah. I don't really go through ties very much any, anymore, but there is money to be made in there. Let's see if I can get into one of these aisles. What do we got, my house? I just never heard of that from Step Brothers. Can someone be in place? <laughs> NC State Wolfpack. Hugo Balls. If you have questions, let me know. I mean, that's really what the core of this whole live thrift is. It's just kind of show you this, not kind of, it's to show you this experience. Um, it's for people who are already resellers, help them maybe learn some new brands or some things beyond the brand that are worth looking out for. It's also for people who are thinking about maybe starting a side hustle this year, maybe making a few extra bucks, getting caught up on bills or maybe getting ahead. Taking your uh, your raise into your own hands. Maybe you didn't get a raise from your your boss from your jobby job this year. It's a cool little piece here. Vitsky sweatshirt. Dallas Mavericks. Three XL NBA store. Cotton poly blends. That's sweet. This is a fun piece. Look at that. Hall of Famer right there. That's going in the car. Have you ever found Jenkos? I have. It's been a while. I think the word is out on Jenkos. But yeah, I have. They're hotter than ever right now. She needs to watch it. That's a good one. Thanks for everybody who's uh, hanging out in the chat, sharing some love. I appreciate y'all tapping the screen. I already up at 3,000 likes. We've got 54 people hanging out here in the chat. Metropolitan Sewage District. Yeah, someone's dying for that shirt. That's kind of funny. Never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's valuable, sometimes it's both. 
I'm Chris at Peak on all platforms, by the way. So if you're not following on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and that new thing, Threads, I'm on there too. Same name, Chris at Peak. I'm also on Whatnot, Chris at Peak. I have a code. If you click on my name or go to chrisatpeak.com, you can. There's a link for fifteen dollars off if you join Whatnot with that link. You get fifteen bucks. You can spend it in tonight's show at seven thirty, or you can use it in anyone's show. You don't have to use it in mine. But you get 15 bucks for free if you just sign up using that link. Just click on my name up above. Boom, right up there. Why did you pass on George? That's funny. I'm still number one, by the way. You find any George yet? Probably. Probably so. Cool story, bro. Often overlooked part of the thrift store is these suits and blazers. If you know what to look for, you can make some good money on these. Most of them are junk, but if we can find one out of these, like 20 or so, that would be nice. I'm looking for certain brands, I'm looking for bigger sizes, I'm looking for unique patterns. I prefer linen and silk. Things like camel hair do well too, cashmere. First, I've seen it a lot on bookmark shows. If you haven't bookmarked your my uh, whatnot show tonight, if you wouldn't mind going to take a second to bookmark it, we hit 200 bookmarks already, so I added a fourth giveaway tonight. We're actually going to be doing five giveaways tonight. And the big giveaway is a buyer appreciation giveaway. All you got to do is buy one thing, something from the buy it now section, win maybe one t shirt in the auction, you get entered to win the buy, uh, buyer appreciation, and that's gonna be a brand new inbox pair of ultra shoes. If you go to my Whatnot show, you can see I have a variety of sizes of the ultras, both men's and women's, you get to pick your size. I have a couple different models too. I have a trail runner and I have a road runner. So you can go to the show right now, go to the buy it now section, you can see all the ultras that I have available. Somebody's gonna win one of those pairs tonight. We got shot out in the suits and blazers. They're not really stocking that section. Just say Banks, you missed it. I I saw it. I, I pass on 99% of Joseph A. Banks. Looking for big sizes, unique patterns, and things like linen, silk, and all that stuff. I'm very selective about the Joseph A. Banks. It's a very, very crowded market, so. Finding the combination of big size, um, nice pattern, like a unique pattern, like a check or a plaid or something like that, um, and something like linen or silk or camel hair is good. I'm looking for like a combination. Otherwise, it just gets lost in the sea of Joseph A. Banks that are listed on eBay and Poshmark. Thank you for the follow, Tim. If you have questions, let me know. If I miss something, let me know too. If you have questions about certain brands, I'm just flipping right past, let me know. I got over a thousand short videos here on TikTok and on Instagram of just exactly doing this, me just doing my work. Sharing brands, materials, sizes, styles that sell really well. I do pick up some wool, wool rich. If this was a flannel, I'd pick it up. If it was wool, I'd pick it up. Or if it was a really cool, like vintage pattern or something, I'd pick it up. But these plain ones, I typically pass unless there's something interesting about it. Tonight, I have a wool rich chambray shirt uh, up. So I do pick up wool rich. It just has to be unique and interesting. Oh, here's a good brand. 
It's an older tag too. This is a Gitman's bro Gitman Brothers dress shirt. Looks like it's in nice condition. I can't tell the size. Let's see. Size 17, 36. So it's like a either an XL or a 2XL, depending on how the pit to pit measures. So it's a good pickup right there. Gitman Brothers. We'll put that up on whatnot tonight for a dollar. Those typically sell around $25 plus shipping on eBay and Poshmark. Never heard of it. I just listed one the other day too. I don't find it too, too often. I like the pattern on that one too. We will go through some t-shirts. We'll go through some jeans. We'll do the short sleeves. Right now we're in the long sleeves. I pick up some of this brand, Charles Tirrett. I look for a combination of big sizes, unique patterns, and typically I'm looking for like French cuffs or something like that. Something that makes it so the supply is lower, but this is also a flannel. You know how I feel about flannels. It's like a lightweight flannel. It's a big size. I like the pattern. All right, Judy, I'm going to look in the back and make sure you didn't take it. The way. condition's there. I'm going to get it, and it's not. It's got ring around the collar. Thank you for the compliment, Tammy. I appreciate that. That's super kind of you. Thank you so much. Uh, what did you think about the shirt, though? I appreciate that. Super kind, these followers. Super kind, these viewers. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for everybody who's follow been following me for a long time. There's some people in the chat who've been following me for over three years, and I appreciate that a ton. Makes this community so much fun. Little Star Wars piece here. Modern tag. Condition looks pretty good. Size large. Probably grab that. It's a good little whatnot piece. Put that on whatnot for a buck. Fluent is yes, 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 100%. But you already knew that, Nick Smith. Thank you for the follow, Caitlin Fraser. It doesn't cost you any money to follow. I'm live every Tuesday from the thrift store, 1 p.m. I go live like, sometimes a couple other times a week too from the thrift store. And every morning, weekday morning, 9:30 a.m. Eastern time, I ship out orders. So you can see exactly what's selling, how long it's sitting in my inventory before it sells, exactly how much it sells for, what it's like to ship out those products, how long it takes to ship them out, how much it costs, what are the fees, what are the profits after all of it. So no, uh, no mystery. So give me a follow, you get those notifications when I do go live. Thank you, Drowning Man 7 appreciate the to follow. Welcome aboard. Good to have you. Wish I was thrifting with... No, I'm not. Wish you were thrifting I with like Nick Smith. He's a good thrifter. What is this brand? Ramwa. Good old Ramwi. Ramwa. 15% off your next purchase right on the tag. It's strange. I'm guessing that's nothing. That seems like tagging from a brand that's uh, not good. I do like picking up these Brooks Brothers solid white, but this one's got really bad staining on the collar. The solid white ones sell really well. Oh, she grabbed that, uh, that Ralph Warren piece. The Warren, Ralph Warren. It's not that fast fashion. Yeah, I figured as much. Thank you. All right. It's like shine, gotcha. So that Star Wars piece, that's gotta go up on whatnot tonight, starting at a dollar. It's got all your favorite characters on there. Nice one. That's always fun. T-shirts are fun. Gives people like a lower price item so they can get in on the buyer appreciation deals. I'm gonna grab this too, a Cabela's. I don't pick up all Cabela's, but this one's a 2XL. Pardon. 2XL, nice pattern on this button down. It's a wrinkle free. Condition looks nice. Everything that's in my cart, I'm going to look it over a little bit more carefully before I check out when I have two hands free. Right now, you're in one of those hands. I'm going to leave this cart here. No, I'm not. I know what I'm going to do. Ramwa only sells with Super Bowl patterns. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't. I never even heard of it before. So thank you. Did I already do this one? 
This is that Nike golf piece that's not in good condition. I am going to let you all pick something out of my cart. That'll be the fifth giveaway. So hang out to the end and you will literally get to pick something out of my cart. I'll let y'all vote. That will be our fifth giveaway. I already have an idea of what y'all might pick from what's already in there, but you pick it. Even if I find something crazy like Filson or Arteryx, we'll give it away as long as that's what you pick. I forget what we picked out of the cart last week. Who remembers? I don't remember. I should remember. UNC Asheville. Exam week 2020. I used to work at University of North Carolina Asheville. That's a really cool shirt, actually. The baseball tee. I don't know if it's somebody who wants an exam week t-shirt, but well, if they want, there's two of them back to back. But that's awesome with the with the bulldog. That's the mascot. Just the, it's the UNC Asheville Bulldogs. But that's awesome with like the mountain scene in there. What's up, F Gaffa? I think you switched out last week because it was more worn than we thought. Was it the jacket? Oh, yeah. Um, shoot, it's coming back to me. Um, yeah, we had one piece that had some stains on it, and I didn't realize it until I got it home and blasted under the uh, under the lights. The photo lights revealed some stains. I didn't want to do like a giveaway that had stains, so I swapped it to the item that you voted second, which I'm trying to remember what that was now. I think it was a Life is Good t-shirt. Because second in the vote, I swapped to that one because the uh, the one that you voted for, number one, was the uh, was stained. So I felt bad. Jean jacket. That was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a Levi's women's jean jacket. That was a cool one. Or no, it was a men's one. It was the men's. I've given away. I think I gave it. I ran a jean jacket women's. It was the men's with the sleeveless. That was actually at this store here, that Levi's piece. You all picked that one right out of the cart. There was a couple of um, resellers, by the way, who went through these aisles right before me. And uh, so anything we're picking is like already been picked once and passed by resellers already. Everybody picks different stuff. But vineyard vines, size large. Nice color on this. Is that stained? I can't tell. Sometimes you can tell better on the camera than I can tell in person, just the way it looks. I don't know, is that stained? My spidey sense is going off, but I think it actually looks good. What's your take on Paul Green shoes? I don't know that brand, if I'm being honest. I'd have to look it up and look at recent sales on eBay. Looks good in our end, okay, cool. For some reason, my spidey sense is going off on this shirt. I'm gonna look it over more carefully afterwards. So I'm gonna grab this. This will go up on whatnot for a dollar. Nice color on that. Vineyard Vines, Murray shirt, size large. Oh, oh, there he goes. That's why the spidey sense is going off. I'm telling you. Sometimes, you know what I mean? You just have like a feeling. I knew that that shirt was gonna be no good. Carhartt. Oh, check it out, Peter Moore. Oh no. Again, that would've been sweet. This one's like a so I'm going to show you this piece anyway, because teaching is the name of the game here. Yes, Look at that. Merino silk nylon. I sold one of these on Whatnot just a few weeks back. These are great. These are awesome to find. Really great seller, especially going into this like transition season between summer and fall. That would have been awesome without that hole, that Merino wool. Is this a thrift in North, Camp North Carolina? It looks super familiar. We're here in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Yep. Trust the Spidey Sense. Found it. I really wish my Spidey Sense didn't work on that Peter Millar. That would have been an awesome find. Look at that Jansport tag. Columbia on a Jansport. That's interesting. There were stains on that one too. Lacoste. It's a size six. So that's like an XL, I believe, on the Lacoste. Jenko jeans. Yep, I love finding Jenko jeans. They're really big right now. They're probably bigger than ever. They're super, super hot right now. Not a common find.
We'll throw that in the cart. That's gonna go up on. Never mind. Never mind. Man, we keep getting keep getting hung up by holes. Here's a nice Under Armour piece. Nothing fancy. And stains. Okay. We are on a roll. Asheville is the worst for having flawed stuff in all of Northwest North Carolina. Whenever I travel there, I notice it. Gotcha. Good to know. Good to know. I haven't noticed any difference between here and all the places that I've lived before. Florida, other places in North Carolina, Colorado. It all seems about the same to me in bigger sample sizes. Christmas. It's not in the best condition, otherwise I'd pick it up. It's just really pilly, really washed out. Finally found a Peter Bowler, nice shirt and husband's they matched it. Uh, they can pay for that. There's Bonobos. I still pick up the, the pants from Bonobos, but I don't do as well with the tees. Thanks Ted's buys for the follow over on whatnot. I appreciate that. Please take a second to bookmark the shows. I got Tonight's show and four other shows already lined up every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I already have half of next week's show already preloaded, too. Got like 25 items up there. Got a couple giveaways and buy it now is already loaded in for next week. So if you want to go check out, see what's coming. And of course, every Tuesday at 1 p.m., I go live and whatever I find, I put up on whatnot that night starting for a buck. So I always have half the show preloaded, the other half... I find the day of. I'll load these this afternoon. That was a uh, Brooks Brothers Red Fleece. That was a more modern uh, line of Brooks Brothers that came out, and I think in 2013 they were trying to appeal to like a younger buyer. Now, this isn't the awesomest brand, but it's a nice heavy flannel. It's pretty stained though. I'm gonna leave that behind. I pick that up sometimes. Might be that guy that took the thing. Jeez. No, it's gonna run me right over. <laughs> okay. Well, the evasive maneuvers are working just fine today. That was interesting. <laughs> I don't know if that got caught on camera or not, but that was fun. <laughs> She was dragging that thing all over the place. Carpet flare. Chris about lost an So y'all saw that? I couldn't tell if y'all could see that. Because, you know, there's just this little, no one taking that number one spot from the guy. <laughs> Barry's talking about the gift spot. He's up there. He's got 21 gift points. Thank you, Barry. And now he's taunting the crowd. Good to see them stocking though, I'll say that. Getting some fresh inventory out. We'll see if we can go catch them not looking. Maybe we'll check out what's on that rolling rack. Maybe we'll get yelled at just for fun. Why not? Colorado. That's another UNC Asheville shirt right there. The Bulldogs. Their basketball team is actually pretty good some years, both men's and women's. They've made the NCAA tournament men's a couple times in the last few years. They usually got smoked in the first round. It's a small school. What size is the blue button up in your cart? It's a 2XL Carhartt. 2XL, wrinkle free. Nice pattern. I do pick up some Abercrombie. This is an older one too, but it's a size small. I'm going to pass on it. I have a nice Abercrombie in the show tonight, actually. Nice button down. I think it's a men's large, lightweight cotton. Really awesome plaid pattern. I pick like the top like 0.1% of Abercrombie I pick up. I try to pick like really nice patterns, vintage ones, or just shirts that I think that y'all would like. It's really nice, sharp looking ones. 
pay no regards to the customer. She has a job to do. Yeah. <laughs> Work is hard, though. She's doing her best. She probably got yelled at by management earlier. She just lost her. I'll put you down for a second. Maybe her dog was sick this morning. She didn't get much sleep. You never know what's going on. Um, a little bit of women's, yeah. I don't, um, I probably won't go into the women's section today and go through and thrift, but I'll oftentimes pick up women's stuff that gets mixed in with men's stuff. I pick up this brand sometimes lately. I've been picking it up. I don't know what y'all think. I'll get y'all's opinion. You can let me know. This brand, I don't even know how you pronounce it. R-O-W-M. This is a medium. But it's a really nice print. Like unique with those, I don't know, it's almost like a flower pattern. I don't know how to describe it. I just picked, uh, yeah, I don't pick it up often. I think I have a couple in my inventory right now. But what do y'all think? Size medium, interesting pattern. It's a cotton button-down shirt. Brian says yes. Amanda says yes. It's all about what you say. I see that in past, but I don't know brands. It's hard to know all the brands. I mean, I don't know all the brands. That's why I'm asking. I think together we're smarter. Say yes on that. The words exclusive is R-O-W-M. So is that a good thing or a bad thing, Nick? Thanks for spitting some knowledge. I sold a St. John's Bay yesterday. Y'all saw that. Sold in 48 hours for a best offer of $21. It was a denim 2XL. Nick Smith saw that. A pattern alone probably would be nice. So-so. Well, I'm going to put it up on whatnot tonight for a buck. I think it's an awesome looking shirt. I think it's an awesome looking shirt. Let's just see what the... Collar looks good. Condition has been a thing today, I'll tell you. I like graphics and hoodies. There are good ones in women's too. Nice. There's just so much like that whole side of the store over there. That's all women's. And then over here, all this stuff is women's. They literally have probably three times as much women's as men's. Maybe two and a half times. It would take me forever to pick through it all. And frankly, I just don't know much about women's clothing. I know the brands that are like crossover brands, I call them. So they're like both men's and women's brands. If they're good in men's, I usually pick them up in women's too. But I respect everybody who does a lot of women's reselling. I just, it's for me, it's hard to describe all the freaking styles and different sleeves and like collars. There's just so much different stuff. I don't get it. Maybe good for a women's whatnot show. You're at Tunnel Road. I am. Wow. Put the graphics kind of hoodies. It maybe it's maybe good for a women's whatnot show. What's um? What would be good for a women's whatnot show? I think I missed something. Okay, we got a little LL Bean T-shirt piece. The way life should be with the bean boots. It's kind of cool. It's like classic LL Bean, and it's got a hit on the sleeve. What's the sleeve say? L.L. Bean. Cool. Spell out down the sleeve. It's a medium. It's going to go up on whatnot tonight, starting at a dollar. Someone's going to like that shirt. The Bean Boots. The Pride of Freeport, Maine, right there. Cute. Thank you, Blended Oasis. That's super kind of you. I appreciate the compliments. Compliments are always appreciated. Let me know what you think about the shirt, though. Y'all got to be careful what you say in these lives, I guess, now. So Land's End. It's like a cotton linen blend. I'm going to pass on it. Smaller size. There's always men's clothing on whatnot. Oh, this dog. Oh, it's a UNC Asheville shirt. How cool is that? It's kind of like a subtle UNC Asheville shirt dog with a scarf and a hat and the goggles could be a little taste of Asheville
I'm gonna go up tonight, but not for a dollar. Somebody needs to have that shirt. If I run out, I only have 12 spots available for tonight because we're gonna do a, a raid right at 8.30 and we're gonna go into Jason Hayes' first show. Look at this one. We're gonna go into Jason Hayes' first show at 8.30. So I only have 40 auction slots. So if I get over the 40, I'm gonna have to move some stuff to next week. I just really wanna respect Jason's first show tonight and give, him, give it the attention it deserves. Go over there, have a good time. Dartmouth College. I used to live like two miles, three miles from Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. I think I'll just pass on that. What are costing these? It'd be five, five bucks. So now we're moving into some short sleeve. Look at this. Asheville, North Carolina. Nice fade on that. I don't know. I'm going to pass on that one. It's just kind of faded out. Find your line bicycle shop. Yes, I want the bear shirt. One dollar sudden death. Yeah, most things are going to be sudden death. It's just kind of faded. It's got an intentional faded look, I think, but... It's got the bear, it's got Asheville, it's got a classic look, you say yes. All right, we'll work that out. Maybe it's an intentional fade, I don't know. Mom said to ask you if I could have this L logo. Nikki. How are you, Roots? Hope you're well, because I love the bear shirt, I'll buy it for me. What size? Let me see here. Obsessed with it, yes. Get that. Uh, size XL, and it looks like it's uh, be on the bigger side of XL, so it's more like a classic fit XL. And it's on a... It's 100% cotton on a Gildan Ultra tag. Tell that baby they can get the doll. I don't want to get in between anybody's parents and their kids. We are no kids by choice. I do not need to get in, involved in any of that. I get involved with the, my goddaughter and my nieces. That's it. Everyone else's kids are off limits as far as I'm concerned. You're on your own. We're going to grab this Hugo Boss. These are good, good sellers. Uh... We got size 2XL, big size on these. These are actually sneaky good sellers on eBay and Poshmark. I have two, they're spoiled. Yeah, and I respect all of y'all that have kids. It's cool. I just don't. Gotta sneak out past you, I'm sorry. Boxed in in that freaking aisle. Go to another aisle. We'll go back in. Thank you. So there's somebody like snuck in right behind me. It was like in my shirt. It's a foot joy, but the tag, rear tag is ripped off. Probably in bad condition otherwise. So I'm going to give it a quick pass. We got a Disney World shirt, 2X and stains. It's going back. Ever? Yep. I do. There's a few in here today. Or was. I don't know if there still is, but there was earlier. They pick through some of the stuff and I'll still find stuff too. Everybody likes different things, knows different brands, sells in different places, has different buyers. This is a busy store. They, they sell a lot and that means they're always restocking a lot too. Some days my girls need to go back where they came from. <laughs> Here's a Peter Moore. It's an older tag. And it's in rough shape, so we'll pass on that. Jack Daniels Whiskey. On a next level tag, a shirt's kind of rough though. We'll pass on it. I like finding shirts like that. That's fun. Just wasn't in good condition. 
Whoa. My back, son. Got some stains. Put that back. Has there been something you wish you had gotten and passed on? Maybe, I just can't think of anything right now. Kind of like a closer in baseball. If I blew the game yesterday, I already forgot about it. I'm on to the next, next day. I got a pitch tonight, you know? But if I think of something, I'll let you know. I just can't think of anything at the moment. Found the naughty section. Yeah, exactly. Yep, y'all got it. Um, I don't really pick up much from that brand pack song. Would have to be something unique to catch my eye, but I think that brand's like big right now. I think a lot of people like it. The kids like it again. I used to pick up this brand, but I don't anymore. Slazinger. If that was a dollar, you can make an argument for it. That's Slazinger. Patagonia, but it's in rough shape. It's got a lot of pulls on it. Wow. I hope this person's okay. Golf, it's white, so I'm always, yeah, there we go. Gotcha. You. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go, Mets baseball. Another season that started with high hopes. Another season down the drain. What a franchise. Nike T Mets baseball. There's gotta be some wounded spirit that still watches the Mets and still has hope for them. So this is going to go up on Whatnot tonight for a buck. That's a 2XL Nike T, nice condition on this. Probably a poly blend. Some poor broken soul, 100% polyester on that Mets. Nike T 2XL, dry fit. Grab that. Maybe that'll cheer up some Mets fan. Oh, this is cool. Angels Landing. Zion National Park. That's awesome. I'm going to grab it. It's a size medium. We'll get that graphic print. Let me know down below in the chat if you've been up on Angel's Landing in Zion. You can go right up there and look off. It is crazy. I heard you have to get tickets now, like reservations, and there's like a lottery system in order to hike up there. Here's a figs top. Should I get this extra small figs t-shirt? I know people talk about figs a lot with the, uh, the uh, what do you call them? The workwear stuff. Scrubs. But what about a t-shirt from figs? Is that, is that worth getting? I hiked it. Mets and the Yankees. Thank you, 929. My Mets. I'm sorry about your Mets. I thought you snatched those from Ripper Point. I was in shock. Oh my gosh, no. They were like a junk brand anyway. If they were good, if they were on clouds, I would have. I don't play. I just sold close to 25 of a different scrub piece. I'm sure it will sell. All right, so we'll get the scrubs. Or we'll get the t-shirt, the figs. Oh, that's an interesting piece. You ever seen one of these? You never know what you're going to find. It's a zipper. Like polo shirt. It's lightweight cotton, but it's got like a little zip. It's also got a little hole. It's another New York shirt. So it's close to 25 different scrub pieces. Nice. Brianna, that's awesome. All figs.
example for air vent on hot days. There you go. It was hot yesterday in Asheville, 89 degrees. It doesn't get into the 90s too, too often here. We had a couple of 90 degree days this summer. June was nice. July was not. July was hot. And now we've had some hot August days. We've had some nice days too. We've had some nice cool evenings, but I am not a big fan of the, the heat. I'm not built for that kind of stuff. Yes, all figs. Okay, cool. Good to know. I don't find it too often. Great brands, bad condition. understand what that shirt's trying to convey. That's for you. Currently, I see a Soka Zonko. I'm about to steal some. I'm currently in the ER and I see Oh my gosh. Autumn, I hope everything's okay. I'm glad that you're uh, amidst chaos, that you are still uh, got a good eye for stuff. It's 50-50 weather better than 80-20 reference living in Denver. 929, I'm not sure what, um, what's, I, maybe I'm, maybe I'm dumb. What, I don't know, what is, a uh, what's 50-50 weather? I don't know what that means. Versus 80-20 weather? I'm not really sure. You might have to explain that one to me. Oh, uh, I'm a nurse. I know the comfy shoes. Yeah, you're on your feet all the time, right? a wool rich but it's just a plain cotton flannel really nothing stand out ish about it so i'm gonna pass on it i do have a wool rich in tonight show but it's a chambray it's just a really sharp shirt oh this is from uh the uh, barbecue place that we like 12 bones That'd be a really cool shirt. It's just really worn out. It's on a canvas tag. I like those can Bella canvas tags. Not important. Okay. I know we'll, if I'm okay in an hour once I get the CT results. Uh, sending positive vibes, Autumn. Hope everything goes okay. Grand Adventure Guide. It's a cool print. I just don't know what the reference is. Grand Adventure Guide. Thank you, Blue Jean Baby. Appreciate the follow. Welcome aboard. Thanks to everybody who's been hanging out. It's been following me for years. Appreciate y'all. You know who you are. Thanks for sharing some time with me. A lot of people don't know that that grocery store, Earth Fair, which was big in the Northeast for a few years, they were, that's an Asheville-based company, but they closed most of their stores. There's only a few left. Tough business to grocery business. Hard Rock Cafe Orlando. It's kind of a neat shirt. So women's large. I like the sleeves. I don't know, what do y'all think? Should I go up and whatnot? Hard Rock Cafe Orlando. 
I was a kid, that was like such a big deal to have like a Hard Rock Cafe shirt. That is cool. It's a cool piece. Yes, I live in Asheville. Asheville, NC. There's one in Columbia. Still gotcha. Yeah. I think there's one left. Maybe t I think there's just one left in Asheville, but they closed a lot of them. They they uh, expanded really really aggressively. I don't think it worked out. Oh, here's a foot joy. Nice. Little foot joy piece right there. Size medium. It's got a little country club logo here. Uh, subtle one on the sleeve. Cleveland Country Club. There you go. I always pick them up with Country Club logos, especially on the sleeve. It's more subtle. But people buy these to golf in them. One thing I always look for is like a fade because a lot of them get sun fade because people wear these golfing, but I don't see like a fade from top to bottom, so I think we're good. I'll look over everything more closely when I have two hands free. Put Joy size medium. I have one of those in the show tonight already, but it's a size, I have two. I have a size XL and a size 2XL actually. Oh, that's interesting. We might be out of slots for tonight. I only have 12 more slots because we got to run a tight 40 item show. One hour in and out, get over to Jason Hayes' first whatnot. So I might not have room for some of these items. So some of these might be pushed next week. Usually everything I find that's in this cart goes up on tonight's whatnot, but some of these will be spread across to next week. Just won't have enough slots. I really want to honor Jason's first show because I know he's lined up some really good inventory. Gosh, I just sold one of these last week. But the one I sold didn't have a stain, so there was that. This is like a heavy cotton spandex LL Bean shirt. Size large. It's not your typical button down. It's got like that little bit of spandex and it's like a heavier cotton. I think I'm gonna grab it. Richard James, thank you for sharing the live. That's kind of you. What do you list foot joy at? Just found my first one. Uh, depends on the size and the pattern. Uh, that one's a medium. I'll probably list it for $22. That would be a cool find, but it's all stained and whatever. A little fun in those National Park shirts. Bigger sizes I go a little bit higher on. Like if it's a 2XL, I'd go up to like 25 or so. And if it's a unique pattern, I'd go up even further. But it also depends on what's your strategy. Slow dime versus fast nickel. So here's a Jordan brand, medium, v-neck. I can get that card out of your way, sorry. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll grab that. Little embroidered Jordan jump man. So we got a question about whatnot. The question is $1 starting bid. Any minimum price? How much is shipping? Um, so no, there's no reserve price. So items tonight, everything has got to start at a dollar. Um, we had something last week literally sell for $1 plus shipping. So buyer pays for shipping and it depends on the weight. So it'll be between like $5 and $8 depending on how much the item weighs. And then you can get bulk shipping. Oh, that's too bad. I was going to say somebody needs this shirt, but there's a they a self-inflicted wound. Nice, Nick. Bye, Gigi. Uh, Jessica, it depends on the on the bean. It depends. There's some good, there's some bad. I just picked up an LL bean. So you just got to know, you got to start learning like within the brands, what's the stuff that's worth picking up and what's the stuff that's worth passing on. Everybody has different like price thresholds too. So some people might say pass on all LL bean um, because they only buy shirts that sell for say $30 or more. You know, that could be their strategy. And in which case that's going to rule out a lot of LL bean. 
Um, so it just depends. So I, I don't really like big big blanket statements like no LL Bean or yes LL Bean. The reality is, is most brands are some yes and some no. And it's just about kind of learning what works for your business model, taking a look at sell-through rates, average sale price, just getting out there and getting some experience, you know, trying certain items yourself. So I know it's fun to just give like big bold statements like LL Bean yes or LL Bean no, but that's not really the way that this business works at all. The size, the pattern, the material, the season, all that stuff comes into play. So I'm not dodging the question, but I'm just like any like business, there's nuance. And the nuance in this business is where the money's made. Gotcha, thanks, yeah. Thank you so much, Sales Shed, for the heart me. Number one, member number 142 of Peak Squad. If you want to join the squad, you just got to hit that little heart emoji next to my name on TikTok and you can join the, the squad. It gives you access to, I don't know, different like engagement things, just some fun stuff. What's up with this brand? We got upside down pineapples, y'all. What's this brand? Trunks, Surf and Swim, is that anything? But we do have upside down pineapples. That's exciting. That is exciting. Thank you so much, CC Psych, for joining the squad. Number 143. Tiege, thanks for the heart me. Swing. Yeah, you got it, Lexington. Upside down pineapples. Anyone know this brand? I can't look stuff up because I'm on this, uh, I'm on TikTok on my phone, so I can't look at, like, look up brands and look at average sale price and sell through rate, but somebody wants to help me out. I used to work there. That's a cool shirt. So Ralph Warren size small, kind of faded out. I'm going to pass on it. Swingers, there you go. Anybody know that brand? Anybody, anybody. App State Baseball. I'm a proud App State alum over here. Poshmark for 35. Like a sold for 35? The mustard seed. Thank you for looking that up. Anybody else lose sound on TikTok randomly all the time? Sorry, Brian. I have a good connection. I'll keep my eye on the connection to see if it's going in and out, but it says it's good right now, so I'll start paying attention. Yeah, if it's in my app for some reason, not you, Chris. Gotcha, okay. I had a lot of, hard, I had a hard time getting this uh, live stream up and going. I had to restart my phone a couple times. I had to restart TikTok a few times, and then nobody was in the live, like zero people were in the live for like two minutes. So I was just sitting on the curb outside waiting for anybody to come in. I was like, what is going on? Usually you kick it on and like a whole bunch of people just pile in. Thank you for the heart meet, Kelly G. Appreciate that. Number 144 of the squad. That's awesome. 21 button ups listed, eight sold. We'll put that up on whatnot maybe, I guess. Sometimes it sounds like you're in a fishbowl. Don't know why. Not sure either. Anybody know this song in the background? I don't know if you can hear it. It's one of my favorites. What brand do you look for the most shirts? It's an interesting question. Um, if I had my choice, I'd find Ar Arteryx and Filson all day and all night. But that's not the way like thrifting goes. You kind of got to take what's in front of you, you know. So always trying to learn too. So I think I'm going to pick this up. I haven't heard anyone say, oh. Ashley says, I wouldn't get the trunk shirt anywhere from 15 to 25 on Posh and eBay and a bad sell-through rate. Even with all the pineapples and stuff, though, too. Don't get the pineapple shirt. 
Sold one for trunk and surf, fourteen ninety nine. Best offer eBay. All sold also one for twenty one ninety nine. Okay. Well, I can put it up on whatnot, and somebody can get a nice steal on it. I just think it's a cool enough shirt. I mean, those sales, those sold comps are are super helpful. I appreciate it, and that's good for like eBay and all that. But I'm gonna put that up on whatnot, and somebody can win an upside down pineapple shirt. Love the pineapple. Yeah, I like the show to be like fun and interesting and catch people off guard. Of course, we want good brands and we want high quality items, but there's also the opportunity to sneak in some brands like that that are like just really cool pieces that happen to be just mediocre brands, but picking the cool, fun stuff from it. Once you put that shirt on, the brand, you can't see it. Shoes are usually crummy here, but I always take a quick spin. Those are rough. All right, let's go check out some jeans. Look at that pattern. And the jeans are like, the racket's like super tight. It's gonna be hard to pick through, especially with one hand. Wow, it's tight. So we're looking for jeans. I know the lighting's not good back here. Looking for jeans, we're looking for wool pants, golf pants, hiking pants, corduroys. Here's some LL Bean jeans. These don't have the most value to them unless they're like flannel lined or fleece lined. They're not in the best condition either, so I'm gonna pass on those. I do pick up those jeans sometimes. This section over here is like a mess. Oh, party. Oh, okay. is just going to be a lot of stale inventory because people haven't been buying pants it's been too hot and they just jam pack these racks so full they're hard to pick through so we might just skip jeans altogether here's some academics it's a streetwear brand but there's no big embroidery or anything so that streetwear stuff you're looking for big bold bright unique embroidery stuff like that so I do pick up some academics, but definitely not all of it. Those are super plain. I've actually never seen academics that were that plain before. Let's see if something jumps off the rack here. I'm not gonna do a deep dive into jeans. It's just too tight and it's gonna be mostly stale inventory. It's been picked over 20 times. Thank you, Carl. Oh, sorry, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie, for the follow. Welcome aboard. That last one snuck in. My husband loves to wear pineapple shirts to embarrass our daughter. Oh my gosh. That's funny. I actually have another pineapple shirt in my inventory that will probably go up on whatnot at some point, too. But now we'll have two. So, looking for corduroys, jeans, hiking pants. golf pants, some wool pants, like wool dress pants. We ran a Burberry pair of wool pants. I think that was this past Tuesday on whatnot. Hey, Vanessa, did you take a nap? This side of the rack is a little bit less jam tight. is a good thing. Reebok track pants, we'll pass on those. Okay. 
that's the problem with so one of the challenges with these uh my goodwills locally which are the goodwills in northwest north carolina is they don't run sales so that means like the stuff that's four weeks old usually like at a goodwill they would have that on like a 50 percent off sale or something like that so that stuff would move here the stuff just sits and accumulates so like doing like off season shopping is harder here than it would be at a lot of other thrift stores I go to that have sales because they get rid of like the old stuff because they run really good sales or bag sales once a month, like fill a bag get, and they get rid of a whole bunch of inventory, right? Well, they don't do that around here. And uh, that means that you get like jean sections like this that are just, they look really stocked, which looks really awesome, but it's all stuff that's just been sitting here forever that people have passed on you know, every day for the past four months. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to give you a chance to pick through the cart. Thank you so much, Don, for the follow. Let's go through the cart. Let's talk about salmon Kentucky, other than color barb sale. What's a color barb sale? Hillary, thank you for the follow. Welcome, Wontong. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you for the heart meet. Ashley, did y'all have the BOGO jeans sale? They had some kind of jeans sale that they didn't talk about at all. There wasn't actually any signs. The only reason I knew they had a jeans sale was I went to one of the, the Goodwills last week and at the register, I said like, hey, how come y'all don't have like any inventory in here? I'm like, what's going on? She said, well, they're running a jeans sale. I was like, oh, I don't see any signs for that. And she pointed to a sign and the sign said, all sales are final during the jean sale. <laughs> that was all, but it didn't say like what the sale was, how much it was off. She didn't tell me either. There's no signs anywhere. So I don't know if that's still going on or what. So they do do a sale. I just don't know anything about it. The color barb on the clothing that holds the tag. We have a 99 cent day occasion. Oh yeah, they don't do that here. They don't do that here. All right, let's flip this camera around. We don't do sales around here. We don't want people to get excited. We don't want people to spend money. We don't want to clear out old inventory. We just want to charge full price. Thanks everyone for hanging out. So here's what we're going to do. I'm doing a live tonight. You probably already know on whatnot, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Everything's going to start at a buck. I already have 28 items preloaded. I'm going to add 12 more items from this cart into tonight's show. The rest will go into next week's show. We're doing a tight 40 item show tonight because we're doing a double feature. Jason Hayes is going live at 8.30. So we're going to rate him at 8.30. So come to my show, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time over on whatnot. And, uh, and then we'll go over to Jason's. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to go through everything in this. I'm going to show you everything we got in this rack or in this cart here. That's the word. It's probably 20 items, maybe 25. We're going to go through everything. And you're going to choose what's going to be one of the giveaways. It'll be the fifth giveaway that we're doing tonight. It's crazy. Five giveaways, including a buyer appreciation, which is a brand new inbox pair of ultra shoes. Just means you got to buy one thing. And then you can got to hang out to the end and you can enter to win that buyer appreciation. Brand new in box ultra shoes. I have men's, I have women's, I have a variety of sizes. You can check it all out if you click the link in the bio and go over to my Whatnot show. My name over there is Chris at Peak 2 if you just want to go to the Whatnot app and search. If you're not on Whatnot yet, you haven't signed up, I can get you $15 for free. Just go to the link in the profile, click that link, sign up, and you'll get 15 bucks. You can walk in tonight's show and, and buy something, maybe even get it for free because you got a $15 credit. Or you can go into somebody else's show. You can go to Jason Hayes' show afterwards or somebody's show like Lion Creek tomorrow and you can use that same $15 credit. So let's go through this cart. You're gonna pick the giveaway and we'll take it from there. Yeah, we had it here in Winston too at the bins. It was buy one, get one free jeans over now. So it's funny because at that thrift store, that Goodwill, they had like 14 pairs of jeans in the men's section um, and they were doing a jean sale. You're like, well, that that's awesome. And there's no signage about it or anything, but anyway. They run their business, I run mine. Let's go through this cart. So just drop it down below in the chat. If you see something you really like, we'll put that, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll your mark three different items and then you can vote uh, from there. So let's just, first one is the trunks, upside down pineapples. It's a men's medium. This is, I think a men's medium. Men's medium Jordan brands, embroidered jump man, men's medium, it's a v-neck. LL Bean, this is a different one. It's a heavy cotton with a little bit of spandex. LL Bean, solid color, two pockets. Like I said, like a little bit of a heavier, kind of like more rough, rugged LL Bean shirt, not like a standard button down. We got Super Bowl New York Giants right here. Super Bowl New York Giants. 
what is that, 46? Is that the way that works? I don't know why they can't just put 46. Who uses Roman numerals now? That's a men's large. So for the Giants fans in the house, we got a Foot Joy. This has got a Country Club logo here. It's a men's medium. Let me know if any of these things are interesting to you. Women's Hard Rock Cafe Orlando. On a legit Hard Rock Cafe tag, modern tag. It's a women's large. Figs Extra Small t-shirt. Solid Figs Extra Small. Pima Cotton and Modal t-shirt. Let me know down below in the chat if there's anything interesting. We'll do a final vote. Angel's Landing. This is on a men's medium tag. This is like a, a wicking like polyester shirt. Maybe 100% poly. But Angel's Landing and Zion National Park. Cool piece. Mets Baseball. This is a men's 2X Nike T. 100% polyester dry fit. Mets Baseball. We have Hugo Balls. Pima Cotton. Uh, that's a size 2XL plain polo. These sell really well. It's got the hit on the chest. Good sell around you, Ben. Asheville t-shirt. XL. I think we got a buyer for that one already. UNC Asheville. That's the local college, University of North Carolina at Asheville. That's a medium Bella Canvas tag. I love those tags. So that'll be a unisex medium, and that'll be a athletic fit. LL Bean. The way life should be. It's got a big LL Bean spell out on the long sleeve. That's a men's medium. This shirt, Rome, men's medium, really nice pattern. Cabela's 2X. Cabela's 2X, wrinkle free, nice blue pattern on there. Star Wars, that is a unisex large screen printed tag. So modern tag, it's got all your favorite characters on it. Gitman Brothers, that's a 1736. That's like a size XL, maybe a 2XL. Dallas Mavericks, it says Nowitzki on the back and has his number. That's a 3XL on that. And finally, Boats and Hose. It's a little, little bit of a pill, like pilling and wear to it, you know, but it's a champion size large hoodie sweatshirt. Boats and hose. You can see so like the pilling, you know, it's, it's had some life to it, but there's no stains, no holes that I can see. Just uh, and worn. That will be one CT. So I'm going to go through the chat right now and see what things that you thought were interesting. I'll pull apart, I'll pull aside two or three that I see the most votes for. It'll be unofficial. I don't have my calculator with me, but we'll just go through this. Oh, I don't really see a lot of boats at all. So that makes this interesting. Okay, here they're coming in. Foot joy, foot joy. Uh, what do we got? Foot joy, foot joy, foot joy. On your eBay listings, do you say, uh, no, 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 no. I do not do that uh, for Ibaloni. I will send it all at once and just BCC so no one knows who got it. Sorry, I don't know what we're talking about there. LL Bean, Cabela, Foot Joys, so I can be, so I can buy the votes and hose. There you go, Foot Joy. I second to LL Bean, LL Bean. Okay, so I'm going to grab a few that I see votes for. I see a lot of Foot Joy, and I see some Bean. So let's grab those two out. And then you can get the final, we'll do the final vote. Uh, I think you're talking about the Bean t-shirt, right? because there's two beans. I was thinking t-shirt, but maybe not. Maybe you were talking about this one. It's a short sleeve, kind of like a rugged cotton spandex. Is it this one or is it the t-shirt? I was assuming you were talking about the t-shirt, but I could be wrong. Long sleeve tee, okay, cool. Thought someone said that. Of course it's buried, there it is. This is gonna be tricky with one hand. I believe in myself. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work. This is how it's going to work. I'm going to put you down for a second. That's how it's going to work. Alright. 
So all those other things are going up for a buck. Not all of them, most of them. We'll have 12 open slots. We're gonna do 40 total. So here's, you're gonna vote on this. L.O. which is gonna be the giveaway tonight? L.O. Bean, this will be the fifth giveaway. Big hit on the sleeve. Men's medium. L.O. Bean spell out. So that's it, the boots. We got another medium, foot choice. They all pick two mediums. And this one's Cleveland Country Club, just a subtle hit on the sleeve. Men's medium on the foot joy, get your votes in. L.L. Bean medium, long sleeve tee, foot joy. Nice little golf piece right there. The votes are rolling in. Okay, L.L. Bean. Okay, so here we go, foot joy, bean. So one foot joy, one bean, two foot joys, two beans. Three beans, four beans, five beans, six beans, seven beans, eight beans, nine beans, ten beans, eleven beans. Okay, cool. So we got L.O. Bean is the winner. So this is going to be our fifth giveaway tonight. The people have spoken. And there we go. Fun little piece. L.O. Bean with the boots. Big L.O. Bean. Spell out on the sleeve. Somebody's going to win that tonight. And that won't be a buyer appreciation. That'll just be for hanging out tonight. Anybody can win that. We'll give that away. And then this foot joy will go up as an auction. So thanks, y'all. So sometimes when I do these lives, like nobody like really cares. I'm just doing these lives and talking. And but today I felt like everybody was like really interested in what I was doing. People looking at the screen, walking behind me, listening to what I was saying. They were intrigued. They want to know what's happening. They want to get in on the giveaways tonight. I think that's what's happening. So five giveaways tonight, including somebody's going to win a brand new inbox pair of ultra running shoes. So I have 14 total pairs. The winner's going to choose men's or women's, and they're going to choose whatever size they want. I have a variety of sizes, men's and women's. I don't have every size, but I have a variety, mostly ranging men's. I think I have nine and a half through 11, maybe nine through 11. And women's, I have like seven and a half through 10, but I don't think I have an eight and a half. There's like a gap in there. But you can check all those out if you go to my whatnot show. You can see all 14 pairs that are available. If you win that tonight, you get to just choose your size, if I have that size. But you get to choose a size, and you get to choose men's and women's. I have a few different colors. I have a trail running shoe, and I have a road running shoe. So probably the coolest giveaway I've ever done, so I'm pretty excited about that. We're also going to give away a couple of bags of coffee from an anonymous donor. Um, Gonna give away that LL Bean shirt. I forget the other giveaway. There's another one loaded in there too. So it's gonna be five giveaways. Women's nine, thanks. There is a women's nine. I'm pretty sure there's a nine available. I don't have it memorized, but I think there's a nine available. Jaylish, this is confident. So thanks everyone for hanging out today. Thanks for picking another giveaway. That's always fun. I hope you enjoy the, the giveaway choice. Oops, I almost forgot about this LL Bean. All these other shirts. <laughs> almost forgot about those. Boats and hose will be available tonight for sure. Uh, that'll start tonight at a buck. So everything always starts at a buck. It'll be fun. Hopefully you learned something today. Maybe a new brand or maybe something inside the brand that's worth looking for. As always, it's education first with this stuff. Um, sorry, just peeking through some stuff, some fresh stuff. What is this? Great Southern Bay Music Festival. In... Hatchagui, New York. I don't know where that is. Dickie Betts Band. I don't know. Sublime with Rome. Humphreys McGee. I don't know. Is that cool? Is that a cool t-shirt? I don't know. Good shirt. We'll have to probably include this. You won't have room for this one tonight. It's a size large. Yeah, I don't know. No, uh, they're not charging it like a t-shirt. I'm going to pass on that one. If they were charging it for a t-shirt, I would, but they're charging full, full price, $5, not t-shirt price. This one, great short. Yes, music festivals, great shorts. I like it. All right, well, I'll do it. I'll run it in the future or whatnot. 
in the car. There you go. All right, I'm going to go through everything, make sure there's not stains and, and all that stuff. So there might be a few items that go back on the, on the rack. So now that I have two free hands, but appreciate everybody hanging out. We'll see you tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. If you're watching this on YouTube, appreciate you too. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'll be live tomorrow shipping out orders, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. So everything that's purchased tonight, I'll ship it out tomorrow. And if you buy something, I'll give you a big dose of gratitude right in the live. Appreciate it. See you soon. Peace.